Good morning, YouTube viewers. ATW 757 here. On my way to work. Whew. Already out of breath. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> So uh, today it's about 42 degrees Fahrenheit, December 13th, so can't complain too bad, got a warm front coming in, so it's going to get a little warmer for the ride home. So, that'd be good as long as it doesn't rain. Eh, if it rains, I guess that's okay too. Whew. Just a momentum killer. All right. So, what do I want to talk about today? I guess we can talk about clothing. Now that it's getting a little chilly. <sighs> Me personally, I'm not a... Not that big into... Wearing... Bike specific clothing. I think it's all pretty much overpriced. For what it does. I definitely don't ride, don't wear the jerseys. I do wear bike underwear, though, not bike shorts. There's a difference. The ones I wear can't be worn by themselves. They're made to go up under some shorts. I will wear bike shorts, however, but I think it's going to rain. They tend to keep me a little drier in that area. It's raining. And I got a, I got a range, light rain jacket for the rain, which I really don't like wearing. So I haven't been able to find one. That's the, can vent out sweat and keep you dry at the same time. But today it's 42 degrees. I don't have anything covering my face. I do have a skull cap on underneath my helmet. Keep the top of my head warm. Ear covers. I do have a balaclava on, but it's just over my neck. I rarely wear it over my head. Yes. Green light, buddy.
Ooh, shift, come on. Need to work on my bike. Adjust the derailers a little bit. Just my front one. Rear one seems to be shifting pretty good. figure out what that death wobble is whenever I take my hands off the handlebars. Skull cap, ear warmers, ear covers, uh, bell clava to cover my neck. We uh, have my little bike underwear, and on the lower section of my body, I do have a pair of white long johns, not the thick, heavy stuff, and. And some just fork out pants over them. That's good enough for my legs. Um, upper body though, I have a uh, moisture wicking shirt for my base layer. Just a regular workout shirt. Slides off the machine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Um, Then I got a real tree long sleeve kind of fleece top. Let's go over my base layer. Uh, then over top of that, I just got a very light uh, Under Armour jacket. The only reason I'm wearing it is because it's bright yellow. Makes me easier to see on the road. It doesn't really do anything as far as warmth goes. Not quite heavy enough. That, some decent gloves. Uh, I'll wear fingerless gloves till it gets under 50. Then I go to fingered gloves until about 35. If it gets colder than 35, then I'll wear some undergloves with the Pearl Zumi lobster claws. Well, let's be honest, it doesn't get under 35 very much where I live. <sighs> Thankfully, anyway. We see snow about once every two years or so. <sighs> I shouldn't say we see snow, we see some sort of winter precipitation. <laughs> Every two years or so, whether it's a ice storm or snow, usually we get ice more often. Ugh. And you guys can keep that. I'm not riding my bike in the ice. <sighs> Mainly because I refuse to buy studded tires. for maybe one or two commutes every other year. So, just stick with what we got. 
but in most situations if it's a nice storm that comes through everything in my town shuts down <sighs> nobody knows how to drive on ice or snow for that matter unless they're a transplant from up north it's waiting on the buddy So yeah, that's my cool weather get up. I like to layer. It's just like today. I leave work tonight, this evening, around five. It's supposed to be in the high 50s, possibly even 60, so. throw my lawn johns and my bag and just ride on ride with the light jacket and just my workout pants Be in good shape now, the reason I wear, or well, uh, the reason I still wear bike shorts. Oh, that was bad. Uh, not necessarily because of the padding. My saddle's good. I can go about 10, 15 miles before my butt starts getting sore. Um, but. The moisture wicking of a chamois is just second to none. If anybody knows riding in a southern climate with humidity and anything like that, uh, swamp ass is a real thing. And it happens very quickly when you're out on a bike. So. shorts because they do great wicking all that away so when I get to work change clothes put some fresh underwear on and I'm fresh as a daisy I can get over since there's no traffic right now and riding turn lane I know some people don't like you doing that, but oh. you know where that ambulance is going. Coming behind me, yep. That's the first. Never had to pull over for an ambulance on my bike before. <sighs> All right. So, yeah. Whatever I was saying, kind of lost my train of thought now. So yeah, that's my winter get up. Um, again, if you're gonna commute by bike, start riding a bike or anything like that, don't think you gotta go out 
and get the most expensive bike wear and whatever you, you don't I ride my bike just as fast on my road bike anyway I do have a full bike kit or team kit or whatever you want to call it jersey and shorts that I have worn on my road bike and I spent over $100 on and the fact of the matter is I'm not any faster am I com any more comfortable? nope not really I might be a minute faster over 20 miles because I'm a little more aerodynamic but it really that minute makes a, that big a difference to you go for it I'm not out here racing if I was out here racing I wouldn't be riding this big monstrosity of a bike it's work every day but that's just me perfectly okay with workout clothes on my bike they're tight enough and I'm telling you go to Academy Sports your stuff there everything I'm wearing right now other than the no even the Under Armour jacket everything I'm wearing right now cost me less than probably 50 bucks so And my summer get up, <laughs> four dollar shirt, shorts, four dollar shirt, eight dollar bicycle, underwear, cycle underwear, whatever. So yeah, sixteen dollars for an outfit, workout outfit. Beats the heck out a hundred dollar bike kit, cycling kit, jersey kit. All right, that's it for me today. Ride on, is a bike on? What was my tagline? Hell, I don't remember. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.